Good night, fellow punchers. The clock on the wall says 9.37 on Friday night in a wet, sort of a miserable night in Fate Lake Hotel, six kilometres outside Waterford City, Fidesha County. Um, cold out there. I'd forgot to do a printout um, from the tachograph and I went out there a while ago without the jacket and you wouldn't be encouraged to go for a walk, I'll tell you. There's a wedding going on, so I'd imagine the noise will be getting going shortly, but I'm in, I'm down a good bit. I'm down the corridor, but I'm at the end, so I don't be bother me, but I'll be going for a pint, uh, I'll have one pint um, or two. Uh, I want to see, will the uh, people be there? There's music on in the bar at half nine, so um, I meant to get this done a half an hour ago, but I was watching more videos. Time flies when you're having fun. At one pint last night in the Kingsley, Pint of Guinness, grand stuff. Seven euros. Between steep, between Langerish, I thought. Between Corkish. But that's what it is. They said that you get it for a couple of euro more uh, in town, in some pumps. But it's too far to walk. And there were, one of the bear staff encouraged me to get the bus, but I said no. And I don't know the routes. I don't know about safety issues coming out of town at night. One was enough. One might be enough here as well. If to seven there, it'll probably be seven here as well. Um, we had, where were we today? We went off at nine o'clock this morning. Um, yeah, yeah, on the ball. And we went to the Jimison factory in Middleton and they went on the tour. That takes an hour and 15 minutes. Starts at 10 o'clock. They had a great time and they were done some whiskey tasting. And then they had their whiskey after the tour finished. And then we went to Waterford Crystal. And they done the tour there as well. And I went back looking for a place to eat. So I chose the Reg uh, round the, down, down near the corner. Because it was a walking distance. Um, they all were very satisfied. I got, there was no beef. Uh, I didn't, I should have got the lamb. I got fish and chips. It was pure uh, could have done with at too oily, uh, too greasy altogether. But uh, chips were all right. But um, I'd go back again to, uh, but I'd have something different. And we were out here at about um, it was probably half four, um, five o'clock around that time. Oh, on the way out it was ten to five, because they were looking for strawberries, and it just done suited me down to the ground and the pull in. Uh, when Trushan's race was just starting. Um, but in all right, we didn't lose any money, but we could have made more than we did. Um, started off with a bad selection in Graceful Thunder. It was a bit risky, but it's no good, that joke. I'd be forgetting about that. And then we were in desperate hard luck with Squealer. Led all bear the line. Uh, lost by a nose. I, as the flew past the post... We were in the, that place eating at the time. Um, I said I'd settle for a dead heat. Um, I thought I didn't think we held on, uh, but I was saying I was hoping for a dead heat. But got beaten by a nose, which is the minimum you can get bet by, and drifted out to seven to one uh, during the day. I ran a great race, um, awful unlucky, um, and then Trushan done the business. Uh, that was five to two last night. It was fifteen to eight this morning. It was well back throughout the day. The rain fall and suited. Um, and then Beacon Edge tonight. Took on the favourite. We beat the favourite. But we didn't beat the horse. There was, uh, we were given £17 taken in the jockey's claim. to the hell of a race or a hell of a performance from Beacon Edge. Given £17 to an inform horse. Uh, just ran into one as they say. But um, uh, all in all not too bad. Uh, Trushan proved his back and forum. Uh, that was a good run the last day, like, but um, what do you call it? Uh, Quick Thorn has gone off the boil altogether. On to tomorrow. The big race tomorrow is the Coral Eclipse. Um, City of Troy, the hot favourite. I have an angle in the race uh, to make a pound. We look at Three-year-olds have won it the last three years, and then there was two five-year-olds, a three-year-old and a four-year-old. So there are, are horses that can give weight, but an all-known form, City of Troy, is a bit special after winning the Derby. Uh, so it's a, 
probably the likeliest winner. So how do we try and make a pound? Al Riffa, first time cheek pieces. The more it rains, the better it is for this horse, I think. Uh, it, it has solid form in, in uh, group ones. Um, and if you look at it, one on soft ground uh, as a two-year-old in the Cora won the national stakes soft ground nine to one shot that day um, second to ace impact who went on to win the Prix de l'Arc and then in the Prix Gane this year a mile two and this was his first run for a while took the lead and just got worried out of it late on Taken on by Hayazar. Crypto yeah, 4 yeah. sticking there on the inside. Al Riffa moving up on the outer with a positive forward move. Here goes Al Riffa down the outside. Feet the flame is finishing well. Six or seven in the line. Hayazark still fighting on the inside. Zaria is coming there. Hayazark, Zaria on the inside. Hayazark and Zaria. It's going to be tight. Hayazark. It wasn't beaten all that far. Went out then to the United States to Saratoga on firm ground, which wouldn't have been sort of suitable for the Manhattan Stakes. Wasn't beaten all that fair uh, in finishing sixth of eight. It's only beaten a few lengths. I think the ground was too firm. He wasn't hard measure either. time is the leader here. coming to the furlong pole. Far Bridge coming through, running a good race. Program trading is in between horses. They're coming to the 16th pole. And William Buick and measure time are home free, turning it on late. Measured time outclasses them in the Resorts World Casino. But a cut on the ground is, is uh, suitable. Now, it's a 25 to 1 earlier. It's clipped into 16s. Um, but if you go, uh, there's a few ways to make a pound, I think. You could go a top three finish is 13 to 8. Without City of Troy, it's five to one. So you could back it each way then. If it was second, third, second, you get the five to one. Third or fourth, then you'd get your stake back. So it's all it's all about trying to make a pound and not lose money. So uh, and and at fourteen to one, if you wanted to back it uh, each way as well. But it's it's the angle I have in the race in the three fifteen at Haydock. The old Newton Cup. Horse there at a big price, uh, sixteen to one. Uh, in places as if not now. Ray Beckett and Ross Ryan. I don't think it handled Epsom the last year. There's a lot of horses that runs well, bring it to Epsom, doesn't act on the track. And comes back and runs pretty well the next time. But on the first run this year, uh, behind Merrick, I thought it ran pretty well. And I just don't think it was fit enough at the time. A Merrick almost the drawing hat. level to true legend down the home run and approaching the final furlong. And A Merrick now strikes the front from true legend in second there. Well clear of, if not now, in third. So inside the final furlong, A Merrick goes two lengths clear, two and a half lengths clear of true legend who's still galloping in second. He's just not quite good enough. And A Merrick goes on to win fairly comfortably. True. If you look at the, this race, the favourite hasn't won this or in the last longest time anything close to the top of the market um, 15 to 2 a 10 to 1 a 14 to 1 a 5 to 1 a 14 to 1 a 12 to 1 a 25 to 1 and if you look where the favourite finished 3rd 10th 2nd no uh, yeah Where did I read that earlier? Favourite finish position. Did not finish third. Second. Way back. Fourth, third, third, eighth. They were joint favourites, obviously, dim years. Um, so, an each way bet on that.
It's 2.25 at Sandown. We have a bus horse running. Money for this this evening as well. Magic memories. One for us the last day. It was a two-point play at 5-2. to two. I think it was went off at even money. On the strength, it, run, it ran well on soft ground in Sandown before. With a second to jewel identity. But if you look at it winning the last day and it's it sort of it says on the thing readily, I think. Because uh some of I don't know. I think it has a shot at it tomorrow. I'd have picked out a tin to one in each way of play. The fact it's a buzz horse. Behind them as they race it. inside the two. Lakota Brave now being tackled by the smooth travelling magic memories. In between Lock Lean is still there and is battling away. These three are clear of Baltimore Boy and dropping away Bold Rib. Magic Memories on the far side with Lock Lean putting up a sustained challenge. Magic Memories trying to get past Lock Lean. Then in third place is Lakota Brave. But it's Magic Memories doing just enough here. We'll win this. You get the picture. Uh, classic uh, needs better ground. I think I, I'm. I, I think there's more rain promised for tonight. Uh, we won't mind it at all. Um, that's that. And there's a horse thing that won't mind the rain either in the next race or in the four forty seven. He's a horse we won on before, and although it wasn't in the first ten in the King George the fifth stakes in. Or handicap in Ascot. It was good to firm ground. When it won on good to soft, it it showed a good and it was over ten furlongs. It went out in front. Remember that race in uh, Epsom? I will keep an eye on it here where it comes from. It comes way from the back of the field. And they weren't too busy on it. It's by a length. Here in the black track, it comes the assailant. French Duke is now staying on from a good way back. Challenging on the outside in the red cab. Going the distance is flying home from a good way off the gallop. Going the distance is charging home towards the outside. He's hit the front. Neski Shirelski is also improving very late. Neski Shirelski and going the distance. Going the distance just in front. Going the distance from Neski Shirelski. Go daddy. Then 4-1-0 fever and Gaspar de Lemos. Behind that one came Autumn Winter and then French Duke. He carried top weight in that and he had come from the back of the pack. Um, lighter weight tomorrow. Each way bet. Won't mind the rain. Send her out in front. Uh, there's one at Nace there tomorrow. They're running her back quick as well. Uh, now, the reason it, it's way down in class. The last day it was uh, Philly's handicap as well. But there was 60,000 to the winner. And this is down to 14,000. Gunsborg. But it's back to six furlongs as well. On the strength of its run. And even it's when it's in the listed race in Cork. Five and a half. Then to, it ran on well to follow me. Uh, to Well to follow, follow me. In third. I wasn't expecting to say that. The last day. I don't think it's off a yard anyway. We keep an eye on it here. This is it on the outside. Ward and Fast Tara from New Division, followed by Vazd and Carsberg, the good and matter of fact. It is Prophet Refused who's won to pick it up now from Kayana. Couple cleared of Indigo 5 who's running on with Plume Noir. It's a bunch up inside the final 100 yards. Prophet Refused with surging in the center. Indigo 5, Plume Noir at the near side. Indigo 5, Plume Noir 1 and 2. Then Prophet Refused. Back out again in class. There was nothing coming from off the pace that day either. Back down in class, and it's Phillies as well. It's a big price of 12 to 1. Some of them are paying four places there, most of them paying four places. Anyway, we'll get this into the oven. Um, I forgot to mention as well 
uh, the other day when I was up on Ratty Castle, I went in into where the um, to take the tickets, and a woman that was at the desk, she said, "Are you Mickey D?" And I didn't recognise her, and I, I was wondering, did she make a mistake, or was there a message left for me, or something? And it was Mary Deegan, and of a regular contributor the last couple of years. Long time passenger on the bus, Robert Deegan from Six Mile Bridge. And uh, she says, I watch you an odd time. She says, but me son or my nephew, she says, never stops watching you. So, uh, lovely woman. She wanted to do a deal with me uh, for going into the banquet, but uh, we hadn't the time to do so. But uh, we'll meet again. So, in the event that I fancy something early in the morning before we leave, if I'm up, so early the last couple of hours at six and a half, six. Well, awake and up. Uh, couldn't get back to sleep. I, I, and I was desperate tired in, early in the evening. And, and, and they were, there were two or three of them uh, outrageous tired as well last night. Some of what, they must be passing on to me what they have, but I'm not sick or anything. Bit of a headache this evening, but I had a rest for 10 minutes there. It'll be all right. Um, bash the bookies over and out.